Happy two-year birthday to the $10,000 Flat Earth Celestial Navigation Challenge. Two years ago, I issued this challenge to Flat Earthers to do celestial navigation without using the globe. And I did this because Nathan Oakley, a Flat Earther who does a daily show called the Flat Earth Debate, where ironically, he never allows anybody to debate. Well, anyway, he said this. The sextant only works on a flat plane. A sextant is the tool that you often use to measure the angles to stars when you're doing celestial navigation. Now he went on with uh, somebody else on his panel to say this outrageous claim. Well, the proof of the flat plane would be that you arrive at your destination, right? Yeah. That the fact that the it works part. when it's when it's utilizing a flat surface, you use it, you get where you're going, you don't have to introduce a sphere and a chord line quite the contrary if you did you wouldn't get the straight line to measure the angle to have a flat baseline to triangulate to reach your destination it must be flat for this to work with such a bold proclamation you would completely expect that they have done celestial navigation using flat earth using triangulation as he said and using a flat baseline as he said so they would definitely jump on the challenge that I issued two years ago, but they haven't. Now, I have done celestial navigation. There's no triangulation. There's no flat baseline. What he described is not how I do celestial navigation, not how anybody does celestial navigation that I know of. So what is he talking about? Well, certainly he must be talking about something that he has done, but he clearly has not. I'll give you a brief overview of how celestial navigation is actually done. You measure an angle to a star between the star and the horizon using a sextant. Now, because you're somewhere above the surface of the globe, there's a dip angle that you need to adjust for. So you subtract the dip angle from that measurement. Then you subtract that from 90 and that gives you your zenith departure angle. And that's the important angle because that tells you how far away you are from the GP of the star. The GP of the star is the point on the surface of the Earth directly below that star. Now, the locations of all the GPs of all the stars that we need for celestial navigation are documented in nautical almanacs. These are published every year with the positions of the stars plotted out for each day. This matters because stars move throughout the year. Uh, they are always shifting over time and you need to know what time it is when you take the measurement because then that tells you what uh, position the star was at that moment. So you use that, you draw a circle of equal altitude and altitude means angular altitude. And that circle is everywhere on that circle, every observer would see the same angle to the star. And you know then that you're somewhere on that circle. When you do it for a second star, you get two circles and they overlap in two spots. You know then that you're at one of those two locations. And if one of them is on land or you know you're somewhere near a particular location, then you can isolate where you are. But you can get the point where you are in the surface of the earth with three uh, unambiguously. So you get three star angle measurements and you know precisely where you are uh, according to the precision of your measurement. Now, when you do it according to how Nathan Oakley says it, well, I don't know how you would do that. It doesn't work. It's not how it's done. So flat earthers haven't done it. They talk big, but they haven't done it. And this $10,000 is still sitting there waiting. But now this is great. Recently, another flat earther, Austin Witsit, made this even bolder proclamation. I think the best argument that MC Tune has is celestial navigation on a globe. Um, falls right in line with this whole like, oh, the sun can't be here on a flat earth. So the whole one degree per 69 miles, that's, that's McToon's best argument for sure. Um, and unfortunately for all the Globers, we've actually completely mapped out celestial navigation and all the exact math that works and matches reality perfectly on the entire Earth at any location, including any position of the stars, the sun, and or the moon based on your geographic position. So it's going to be a rough next couple weeks and following year for you guys because we literally have the exact perfect math 
to explain all of it. That's right. Austin Witsit, Flat Earther, says that he can explain all of it for any point on the surface of the Earth. He can do celestial navigation using Flat Earth. They've mapped it all out, he says. Well, of course, this is all bluster. He can't. I know he can't. Um, he can't do math. <laughs> I know he can't do math. There are ways <clears throat> that, uh, that he might be thinking of, but they're called a coordinate transform or projection, which just is a way of admitting that the Earth is a globe. Now, promptly after this, he challenged me to a debate on celestial navigation, which, of course, I accepted. So now a debate on celestial navigation is simple. You do celestial navigation. There's no, there's no talking back and forth. There's no arguing. There's no your turn to talk. There's here are star angle measurements. Go. So I accepted. I said, uh, let's do it. I, uh, I'm uh, uh, ready to do it on modern day debate. And I posted on Facebook the, um, the challenge. He's been silent on Facebook. I don't know. I don't know why, but here's, here's the schedule. This is what it will be. Just simple. I will give uh, star angle measurements, and then he goes through the process. Take all the time you need to go through the process. I'll just watch. And then when you're done, hey, you get it right, and then you can give me some star angle measurements. I'll go through the process too, but you go first, right? Because there's no challenge about whether or not globe earthers can do it. We do it all the time. Uh, there's books about it. I got a book right here. It uses the globe, right? Goes through the whole process. That's how I learned. It's not that hard. Um, anyway, Austin, I look forward to this to this debate. Um, now, if you don't accept the debate, that's you acknowledging that the Earth is a globe. Um, if you do a coordinate transform or, or a projection in there, that's you admitting that the Earth is a globe. Um, if all you want to do is argue about stuff instead of action, that's you admitting that the Earth is a globe. You see, I'm a man of action. I can do celestial navigation. Austin Witsit is all about bluster and crying and whining and a whole bunch of word salad. But never, never action. So this is it, Austin. Everybody, you can find Austin on Facebook, on Telegram, on YouTube, um, and Discord, where he's flapping his face all the time, spewing his word salad, but never doing action. So please take this video, send it to him, tell him, I'm ready. Let's have that debate. You get to show how to do celestial navigation. You said you mapped it out. You said you could do it. You claimed it was going to be a bad couple weeks for us. Well, time to put your words into action.